Well, welcome back to the Steve Rob Show. Today we're going to talk about rust proofing and how I think you're getting hosed big time. But uh, I'm in the rust belt, I'm in Ontario, and they just pour the salt on the roads like you wouldn't believe. Now I'm going to get into why I believe you do not need to have your vehicle rust proofed every year with the products that they're using. Uh, I'm a firm believer in uh, rust proofing your vehicle but not for the reasons that uh, they're trying to hose you with today. First of all they're saying this stuff creeps and all that stuff. This spray creeps. Well I think that's just a load of crap. I don't know about this stuff about creeping. But I use a couple of products myself and I'm going to show you on my vehicles what they look like. I got a 2002 Silverado 2500 HD and guys I've never waxed this thing, I don't wash it, uh, you know, and same as my 2010 F-150. What I do to the vehicle is I undercoat it myself. Now I realize not everybody can undercoat their vehicles themselves, but I don't believe, like, there's no reason to go around drilling holes all over the place in these vehicles. Let's go back to the early 70s when I worked on the assembly line at General Motors. There was not a piece of uh, body uh, material that was used that was galvanized. It was all just plain steel and we dipped it in a phosphate solution and then uh, it was called an Alpo uh, Prime and we painted it. And guys if you remember back in the 70s, I imagine most of you don't, but the vehicles were rusting out like within two three years tops. The most you ever got back then was a, a one year warranty 12,000 miles. Today it's a whole different ball game when I retired in 2007 from General Motors, every part on the vehicle was galvanized. Now on the pickup trucks, uh, I would say they never switched over to the roofs being galvanized until later on in the seven, in, uh, 2002 or 2003 maybe on some models. But today, almost all the vehicles are all galvanized from the factory or like the F-150 is uh, all aluminum. So what are you spraying on that thing? So, but there is some good uh, products out there and it will help, you know, deter the rust. But this idea of them saying, oh, well, you got a $70,000 vehicle and in 10 years time, it's not worth nothing because it's, uh, it's rusted underneath. Well, it's not worth nothing underneath uh, rusted and it's not worth anything if it's brand new underneath in 10 years. You don't get hardly anything for a 10 year old vehicle. But do I think you should rust proof your vehicle? Yeah. And if you want to go and pay up to $200 a year to have somebody else spray it, well then knock yourself out and do that. But I don't do that. I have had it sprayed in the past by uh, Crown and Rush Check. And guys, it works, but to me, it just washes off after the next season anyways. Uh, it does help, but I don't do that. And I'll show you what I do and the reason why. Now these are the products that I use. Now I use this product right here called uh, Rust Check. I don't think you even get that in America, I'm not too sure, but uh, it, it, it's a good product. And this is another one that I use all the time and I've just got onto this about maybe the last uh, five, six years is this one right here. And you know, it's a chain lube, but guys, I'll tell you what, when you spray it, it's like spraying this anti-seize compound. It's just terrific stuff and both of them are cheap. They're both around uh, six bucks uh, a can. I'm gonna make a little bit of a demonstration here and show you what they look like when they're sprayed. But I'm gonna take out my vehicles first and I'm gonna show you what my vehicles look like. A uh, 2010 F-150 and a 2002 Silverado. Okay, so there's the uh, F-150 and the body's not falling off it or anything. And uh, let's just take a look inside here. And I'll tell you guys, what I do is I'll see if I can get my light on here. Hopefully it's not too uh, bright. But uh, what I do is I just use down here, you can see? See where I've sprayed that in there? And that's that rush check, coat and protect. Guys, I sprayed this the first week I had the truck and that's been on there ever since. I have not touched it up, I haven't done anything. And here's the uh, truck here. And the only thing I do, like I've said in other videos, is I do do the, uh, the underside here with that rocker guard. I do all the bottom there. And guys, 
this truck here is over seven years old and it's not all rusting out and uh, I'll show you underneath okay guys so here we are here and I just went underneath there with that rust coat and protect and uh, or you could use the uh, the chain lube as well and guys I did this to all my brake lines and fuel lines and you know what that's all you really have to do so let's go over and take a look at the Silverado okay so here we are 2002 Silverado the only thing I've ever done to this guys is I repaired the uh, cab corners down the bottom there and the left and the right and that's it like this thing is just the way you're going to see it and uh, I have replaced one section of a fuel line. I'll put a link down below if you want to see that vid where I couldn't get in there and spray and it did rust out. But I'll show you uh, the rest of the truck here. And guys, like I say, I just you can see on the bottom there I used that rocker guard. But let's go underneath the truck and take a look. 2002 guys. Okay guys, here's the underbody here. And uh, yeah, it does show some rust here and there. And, like you say, that on, on there, that's from way back, maybe five years ago, I had it sprayed. Five, six years ago, I had it sprayed at Rust Check. And it does help. But, uh, and of course, I don't put my spare tire underneath here. You'll never get the thing out. But yeah, the body's not all rotten off. And let's move over to the, to the brake lines here. Guys, these are all original on my truck, like I said, except one spot of a fuel line I've never done a brake line on this yet one spot of a fuel line where I had to repair it patch it in and guys this is all original and I'll take you up front and I'll show you and here's the underbody here you know it, it does great you know so I'll take you under the uh, front of the truck and always in the front of these Silverados, you'd have that front brake line rod out. I'll show you mine. Never been touched. Okay, there you are, guys. You see that's all goobed up? There you go. And uh, usually this is the one that goes on it. So, but I've done all the brake lines and everything. I'm going to show you as well underneath where my uh, ABS box is where all the uh, brake lines go into. Okay, that's a real hard shot to get here. But I'm underneath the truck here and you could see where I really goobered it up by spraying on that, uh, that coat and protect. And like you say guys, that or the, uh, now here's the fuel filter. Guys, that's the original line going on the fuel filter. I've never had a problem and when I finish with it, I just spray it again. And like you say, the truck isn't falling apart. It's a 2002. And let's go in the shop and wrap this up. Okay, behind me here you can see I just got a hunk of uh, plate steel I've taken out from the uh, side of my shop there. And I'll zoom you in and I'll show you each of these products, how they spray on just bare metal. Just so you guys can uh, have an idea of uh, what they look like. Okay, we'll go with the uh, liquid wrench, chain and lube first. You just got to shake it up a bit. And there's that one there. Now you can see how that just sits there, guys. It is just phenomenal. It is a great product. And it will rust proof your brake and fuel lines like you would not believe. And the next one is the rust check. And guys, this there's two products. One's called Coat and Protect. And the other one uh, is the regular product. And it just looks like red transmission fluid to me. But of course, you got to spray it, up, uh, shake it up, and here's the product here, and that's it right there. And guys, that will kind of unbubble over time, and as you can see in my Ford, it did not uh, attract dirt or anything. It's been sitting there for a long time. You can see it kind of slowly, you know, uh, congealing. And it does not run. It'll stay there for years. Both of them products are like that. I prefer in any area where you're going to be around clothing or anything, guys, you, you can't spray that chain lube around because it will just be nasty everywhere. But on the underbody, it's terrific. 
Okay, a little bit of a long video there, but I just wanted to show you that you do not have to uh, to spray your whole vehicle and drill holes and do all this kind of stuff. Because the vehicles today, do you guys see the vehicles all falling apart and rotting apart? I don't see it. And uh, guys, nobody's sponsored me, you know, to say anything about this product, you know, or, or this product or any of that kind of stuff. I'm telling you what I do, and it works. Um, I have had the vehicle sprayed, each one of them, uh, once. And the Silverado, no, it was twice on the Silverado. And I'm not going to pay them anymore up to 200 bucks just to go in and eat there. And in the springtime, for me, I, I see it's all gone. I, I don't see much of a benefit to it because I'm in a lot of rust in my area when it comes to the application of salt on the roads. But you know what? I think if you can do it yourself, is do it yourself and go underneath there and just spray your brake and your fuel lines. And uh, like you say, my, my fuel filter area. Uh, guys, that's the only thing you really have to do. These vehicles are pretty good. I see them going underneath the hood, spraying like crazy all over the place. I tell you what, in a lot of spots, it's nasty trying to work on a vehicle when they're all greased up like that. And I know, I'd love to hear in the comments how many technicians would prefer a vehicle all goobed up, you know, with this stuff all over the underbody, or whether you'd like to have it uh, just clean and a little bit rusty. Because you know what, guys? This idea of saying in 10 years' time your vehicle's going to be worth so much more because you don't have a rusty brake line or a fuel line or this kind of stuff. Guys, I think that's a load of crap. Uh, I don't think your vehicle's worth much more in 10 years' time, no matter what it looks like. You know, I, I just don't see that. And today, most people are not keeping their vehicles that long. I mean, vehicles are tr being traded in after five years, maybe at the most. So, for those that are going to keep a vehicle for 15 or 20 years, like, like this 2002 Silverado, runs like a charm, hey, why not? If you can afford to pay $200 a year to have it sprayed for somebody else, fine. For me, I'm just going to do it myself. So thanks for joining in. If you haven't seen this channel before, you're welcome to subscribe. Come back again. Let's have some more fun. Cheers, guys.